Chemnall Technology College in Kent has been using LAMS, the Learning Activity Management System, for the past year. LAMS is an innovative tool for designing, managing, and delivering online collaborative learning activities. Using LAMS, practitioners are able to plan sequences of activities which promote cognitive learning through reflective questioning and discussion. We knew that if we were going to raise standards, we'd have to look at improving teaching and learning, addressing the teacher shortage and reducing teacher workload. As part of creating this capacity, we looked at e-learning and how that could help our workforce focus in the classroom. So we're going to look at how to create a sequence here in LAMS. So as you can see in front, we've got the authoring view. We've got our One of the here. things that we've done here is identify in the um, schemes of work where LAMS would be useful, where discussions would be useful, where reflection will be useful and then fitted LAMS into that. As a teacher it's your professional judgement to say where really that's going to be needed. Any questions just raise your hand fellas, take it nice and slow, read the information and text which is there, do the activities and uh, that's it and I'll speak to you again at the end. They're actually going to submit a piece of work to me which is going to be a weather report for next week and they're going to use the internet, the conversation and reflection that they've done in today's lesson in order to do that. So we've got lots and lots of tools all being used in an hour's lesson. Uh, I like all the activities where the whole class can be joined onto your screen. You can see all their opinions rather than just doing it alone. Uh, I think from a teaching perspective, it, it makes sure that the whole class are involved in your lesson uh, rather than having four, five, six individuals who dictate the pace and control your lesson with questions and answers. LAMS allows you as a teacher to be very sure that the whole class are contributing and to actually be able to evaluate their contributions and actually have them recorded. Uh, it's very, very useful from a learner and a teacher perspective. The chatting on it, I think, is the best part because you get different opinions from different people. The first time I thought it was kind of difficult, but now I know it's quite easy to use. You can talk to other pupils about what you think, so if you're wrong, they can correct you as well. Right gentlemen, today we're going to be cooking rock cakes, as you know, recap of the ingredients on the board. As a food technology teacher, I'm very competent at using IT and IT software, but I'm not a techie, techie person. And I usually use myself as an example, if I can do it, everyone else can. It's been very important at the beginning of a project where they brainstorm ideas before they start designing. And it's also excellent at the end of a project when they reflect on what they've achieved and how they could improve for future work. I think it went very well. I don't think that you could replicate uh, that kind of learning environment at the moment using any other tool when you think that we had collaboration of ideas, questions and answers, some voting and polling occurring, as well as looking at some uh, shared resources, different internet sites, um, all creating and building up knowledge and ending with a submission uh, piece where they've actually uploaded their own weather reports for the next week all within an hour's lesson. Instead of a teacher just purely controlling the learning process it enables the students to take more of an active role in that learning process themselves. So one of the things that we think LAMS will do is actually try and improve the, the, the discussion skills and consequently improve the learning because if they're discussing it between each other then they're more likely to actually make their own judgments and improve their thinking. With good teachers, LAMS can actually, we think, have a real impact. <laughs>